right, guys, we're going to be practicing division using the area model, except with word problems. Um, on our learning scale, we still have to be at a two, which leads us to our learning goal, where we hope to be able to find whole number quotients and remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors using the following strategies equations, rectangular arrays, and most importantly for right now, area models. Let's do the first one together. And yes, that's a word problem, so yes, you have to make sure that you cubed your work. Mrs. Allen has 27 candy apples. If she splits them evenly among three bowls, how many candy apples are in each bowl? We're going to solve it the same way. First, let's pull out our division problem, which is 27 divided by 3. We're going to start by counting out three of our squares on the grid. One, two, three. We're going to keep going until we get to 27 so we can find out how many equal groups of three there are. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And let's count and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we know that there are nine groups of three and 27, giving us our answer of 27 divided by three equals nine. Let's do this second one together. It's the same concept. It just simply has a three digit dividend, nothing you can't handle. Mrs. Weber has 114 pumpkin muffins. If she puts the same number in six bags, how many pumpkin muffins are there in each bag? We're going to start the same way. We're going to count up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go over 10 because we know that we can at least get 60 out of 114 to make this a little bit easier for us to divide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's label it so we don't get confused. Now let's do some subtraction so we know what number we're working with. Remember that we multiply six times ten, which is sixty. We subtract. We can't take six away from one, so we borrow, making it eleven minus six, fifty-four. Remember now, we're going to ask ourselves, okay, now how many groups of six can go into 54? If you think about your math facts, we should be able to pull out the multiple of nine because six times nine equals 54. So we can automatically go ahead and count over nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, it's best just to bring that line down so we know um, the rectangle that we're working with. We now bring our 54 over here to finish out our problem. We know that we just counted over 9 dots. We need to label that. And then, of course, we're going to multiply 6 times 9, which is 54. We write it down here. We subtract. We are left with 0. Our last step is to add our numbers that we've labeled on top. 10 plus 9, we know, is 19. And that gives us our answer to our division problem of 114 divided by 6 equals 19. You're going to do this next problem on your own, as well as this one. And this is your last one. Be sure to use the paper that you were given in class. Best of luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.